At the Illinois Holocaust Museum and Education Center, Yom HaShoah is more than just a day of remembrance for those who perished in the gruesome events of the Holocaust. For Mark Gelfeld, a volunteer docent at the museum, teaching children about the Holocaust is both a daily reminder and reward for him as he hopes the next generation will put an end to genocide. Well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a history buff, but I mean, many of my great aunts and uncles were, were killed in the Holocaust. Well, I think the, the most important thing is to relate it to things that are, are going up on now. And so what we do is we, we deal with issues of choices. You have choices during your life, just like people during the Holocaust had choices during their life. They could choose to be an upstander or a bystander and help up the victims. They had consequences. You can choose to be an upstander or a bystander in your life. But remember, there are consequences to it. It's easy to talk about, and you usually get it, the kids nodding. I, I, think it's, I think it's very rewarding okay. when, when um, I know that I've gotten through the kids, that they understood what happened, they understand um, what it means to be an upstander and how that relates. I, I find it very satisfying. The issue is not how much they know. The issue is what attitude they bring to learning. I don't care, and I think most of us don't care, if the kids don't know anything about the Holocaust and Judaism, or they know everything, and there's nobody that knows everything about either subject. You know, as long as they have an attitude that they want to learn. If they have an attitude that they want to, that they want to learn, that's all that counts. For Medill, I'm Josh Rosenblatt.